all right guys got a new ride coming to the channel it's not mine it's my pops truck man but uh he done had it for a long time and we get ready to uh start back working on it man it been sitting down for a while uh because he has had a couple of problems and he just let it sat and then it just got to the point now where he just done let it sat too long man so we finna come out here, man, cause the motor went bad in it. Or oh, it ain't went bad yet, but it uh got some chocolate milk in it. Hold on, let me get my hand out the camera. Got some chocolate milk in it, and um I'm finna drain it out. It's actually been in there for a while, so we just literally just playing the waiting game, just waiting on the bottom end to go out in it. So uh we don't drive it, but it's getting ready to get a V8 swap. So y'all hold tight, swing y'all around. We're gonna walk around it, then I'm gonna get to work on it. Before we get too far in this video, man, let me say this. God is everything. Without God, I'm nothing. Hey guys, so here it is, 92 Chevy S10. Um, man, it had a pretty good paint job on it, man, years ago. Um, it's faded now, but this is gonna be the next project uh, coming to the channel, even though I got so many already. But this is just gonna be simple. It's gonna be paint, engine and transmission, and some wheels. Real simple. We're gonna redo the interior and stuff in it. Let y'all see what the interior looking like. It used to look pretty good. I don't know what it looked like now. Super dirty. That's what the inside looks like. That's a seat cover on there, but as y'all can see, it is. The original seat is ripping. So, we're going to have to redo the in interior, too. But, uh, a few dings and dits in it. But, overall, the body is not too bad. Um... Uh, as y'all can see, body ain't bad at all. Does have a 4.3 in it, as y'all can see, 4.3. Uh, this thing is probably getting an LS swap, if I'm just being honest with y'all. It's probably gonna get an LS swap. Um, but yeah, man, uh, just had just just not long had some front end work done to it before he sat it down. So that's one thing we don't have to worry about. Um, get in here and pop the hood for y'all. I know it don't matter because it's a V6, but um, get this hood up for y'all. All right, let go to the engine. 4.3, plain Jane, nothing special. Um, but like I said, it does still run at the moment. I just got to try to crawl up on here to see if I can drain out this chocolate milk because it does have chocolate milk. Uh, does already have an older foil 60 trans in it from what I, from what I researched. I don't know how true that is, but, um, yeah. Anyway, man, let me try to crawl up on here and see what side this boat is. And we're going to try to drain this, uh, chocolate milk out of here, man. Right, so we're up on the hill, man. And as you can see. This thing had some leaks on it, but it had, I don't know how, much, how many miles it had on it. Find me an old pan. We're gonna use that to drain it in. Uh, Y'all can see the lower control on right side is new. This side isn't, but the ball joint is new. The control arms and all this are fairly new. Don't see how many miles this thing had on it before I drain this out of there. Let's see y'all, hold on. What y'all see in there? 354,000 miles on this thing. So, 354,000 is where this 4.3 made it. But yeah, man, let's figure out what size this boat is and we'll, we'll jump into it and talk about it some more in just a minute. All right, guys, y'all can see that. Literally, just mostly water. Coming out of there, man. That's crazy. I'm actually curious, was there any water even in the engine, man? Let y'all see it. I'm let that drain out. And uh, we're just gonna throw some five six. When we change the oil on something, man, we probably just gonna use the old 
old oil out of something, we change the oil in, put it back in, and then that's gonna be it. Right, so this is why I said we had chocolate milk. If you look at this, tell me exactly what that looks like. Chocolate milk. That's oil and water and it's mixed. And for some weird reason, it looks like chocolate milk. So that's what we drained out of that, man. So motor basically done. All right, guys, so we got that all finished up. I'm headed back to my, my crib. And uh, we done made plans on engines and all this and that. Uh, it may just end up being a 5.3 with a uh, simple cam in it. He still wanted to be drivable, man. So we gonna try to make sure it's drivable and it makes good power. Uh, we may end up going with like a Brian Tudor racing stage two with a 5.3 or we we'll run across a good deal on a 6.0, we may go with that, man. So uh, just depends, you know, what, what we run across, man. So y'all just stay tuned for the build. We just talked about it. We finna definitely get it in motion. Uh, he gonna get it uh, towed up to my house and I'll be basically working on it, man. So that'll be another, whole nother project I have going on on top of the many others I got going on. But be good, it'll be good content for y'all, man. So uh, yeah, we, man, we're gonna be getting that in motion. Y'all go get some merch, cool TV merch. All that is gonna help fund these bills. Um, 